In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you how you can add resources to your classes in Moodle. So I'm going to scroll down here to an empty module. And over on the right hand side, you'll notice that there in, in each module, there is a link that says add an activity or a resource. And this week we're going to focus on resources. So I'm going to click on add an activity or resource. And that opens this window up. Now at the top we have activities and I'm going to scroll down because we'll be doing that later. And we're just going to look at the resources. So there's several kinds of resources you can add and I want to first show you how to add a file. So I'll click on file and click add. And that brings me up uh, an editing window like this. So let's say I want to add a syllabus. So I'll type in syllabus. Now the description um, is not something that shows up, but it's required that you fill that in. So I usually just copy uh, the syllabus or the, the same title in that I had um, up above. If you want more details, you can do that, but it's not something that shows up in your course. So now I'm going to scroll down to content and I can choose to add a file, this left hand link. So I'm going to click on that. And I can now choose a file to add from my computer. So I'll click Choose File. And I wanted to add a syllabus, so I've got one right here. And I'll click Open and upload this file. And there we have a little PDF version of a syllabus. I could add any kind of a, a file. It could be a document, a Word document as well. Um, now there's another link here. I'm going to click and open. It's the Appearance link. And I have several options. I can have it um, do whatever it would do automatically, which for a PDF is to just open it in a, in a page. I can embed. Um, I can force download. If I want my students to download it and print it, this is what I would choose. One of the options I often do is in a pop-up. So I'll show you that right now. And then I'm going to click on Show More. And when I click on that, it shows the size, and that's a very small size, 620 by 450. Normally what I do is about 900 pixels wide and about 700 pixels long. Students can resize that afterward, but this at least gives you most of the page when it opens. I'm going to go back up and choose for this automatic so that I can show you what happens. And then I'll scroll down and say save and return to course. And that's all it takes. I've now put the syllabus in my course. When I click on it, it automatically opens in, a, in a, the same window. I can click my back button to get back to the class. Okay, let's look at a couple other resources. I'm going to click Add an Activity or Resource, and this time I'm going to choose to add a folder. And when I add a folder, I can group things together. So I'll just call this Course Files. And I'll just paste that below. And now in instead of choosing the single file, I'm going to choose Folder. And I'll give it a name, Course Files, to create the folder. Now I'm going to click to open that folder. And I'm going to add some files to it. So I could drag them and drop them, or I can just click the little plus sign and choose the files that I want to put in. So let's say I want to put in this tutorial. I'll upload that file. And I'll upload uh, these 10 tips. And upload that one. Notice how they're all going into the same place. And top 10 suggestions. They're probably all the same. Click Upload. OK, I've got three. And let's go ahead and save and return to course. So you'll see that I now have a folder. And when I click on the folder, it takes me into a page where I've got all of these files. So you can have any number of files and organize them into a folder so they take up less room on your home page. Kind of keeps things organized well. OK, the last thing I want to show you is how to add um, a link to a website. So I'll click Add an Activity or Resource. And I'll choose um, URL. And I'll click Add. So I want to take you to the TED Talks. So I'll, I'll say TED Talks. 
and copy that into the description. And now all I have to do is type in the URL where I want to send people. So I've got it open here. I can just copy the website, go back into Moodle, and paste that web address. Under Appearance, I can choose if I want it to display automatically. Let's do a pop-up here so I can show you that. And I'll make it a little bit bigger. 900 by 700 is pretty good. And I'll click Save and Return to Course. So here are all of the files I've added. Click on TED Talks, and there it is. It opens right up to the TED Talks web page. So that's all it is, uh, all it takes to add these resources to your website. I'm going to do a separate video to show you how you can create a page where you might want to add um, some lecture materials.